To make our taco cups, you're gonna use scissors to cut halfway through to make a little slit. Take them out of the tortilla bag and we're gonna put them into a muffin tray just like so to create the cup form. Now that we have these laid down, we're gonna go ahead and grab our ground beef. As you can see, I seasoned it and this ground beef is delicious. So we're gonna go ahead and start by throwing it right into our cup. I would say throw about, you know, two to three tablespoons of meat into each cup. You know, you can eyeball it, just about a third or half of the cup is good and perfect. There we go. There we go. So, you know, I love to use ground beef and there's different fat percentages, but if you are on a diet or anything of the sort, you are more than welcome to use ground turkey. You know, the leaner ground turkey totally works. Now, is it as good? No, but it definitely still does the job, I will say. Now that we have this ground beef going, we're gonna go ahead and get some nacho cheese. So this stuff, oh my goodness, this stuff is so darn good. So go ahead and get about a tablespoon of nacho cheese. There we go. And we're just gonna put it right there on top of the meat kind of off to the side, whatever you wanna do, but you're gonna put it right there into your cup. That's what's important. Now this nacho cheese is ridiculous. This stuff is so good. You know, we're gonna put some real shredded mozzarella, uh, Mexican cheese, but having this in there as well, amazing. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get our diced jalapenos. Now I love diced jalapenos. I love a little bit of a kick, but if you are not really into spicy, you know, you can go ahead and skip this step. That's totally okay. But I'm telling you guys, this step is key. This stuff is so, so good. It, it adds the perfect amount of spice. We're going to go ahead and finish this little can right off. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and get our red enchilada sauce. This stuff is so good. So we're gonna go ahead and get a spoonful, about a tablespoon, and put it right on top of everything. So this is going to add so much flavor to this. It just makes this whole thing so much better. So go ahead and add a tablespoon. Just throw it all over that stuff. When it bakes, it's all just gonna come together and be so, so yummy and tasty. Now that these are getting full, we're gonna add some diced onion. You can go ahead and get a fresh onion and cut it up yourself, or you can just buy some diced onion from your local grocery store. So keep that in mind. If you wanna minimize the work, there are so many ways to do that, right? And if you like a lot of onion, a little bit of onion, go ahead and play around with the amounts that you throw on there. Perfect, amazing. Now that we have our onion on there, we're gonna grab one of my favorite parts. We have our Mexican shredded cheese. So we're gonna get about a handful, put it right on top, just like that. You wanna practically cover, you know, all your ingredients, just like I'm doing. Just get it right there to the top and cover it. This cheese is going to melt and get so, so tasty. You know, you don't wanna skimp out on the cheese. We already got our nacho cheese in there, but that's different. That is a whole different flavor. This Mexican shredded cheese is a necessity, guys. It's, it's just so good. It's so darn good. Perfect. Now that these are all full, we're gonna go ahead and season a little bit. We're gonna start off with some black pepper. Go ahead, sprinkle a little bit of that on. Adds a nice little extra taste. You can also do salt, paprika, cumin, you know, any of those are great as well. Now we have our garlic powder. Garlic powder is strong, so just go ahead and throw a little bit on, but I don't want to, you know, unseason this. We have a little seasoning on the meat, but more is always better. We're gonna go ahead and toss this into the oven now. Okay guys, it's time to throw it into your oven. We're gonna bake it for about 20 minutes at 350 degrees. These are all ready to go, guys. We're gonna go ahead and take these out. Look at how good they look. We're gonna go ahead and top them. 
Okay guys, these are all ready to go, but first things first, we need to go ahead and add our cold topping. So we have some ice cold, yummy shredded iceberg lettuce, and we're gonna go ahead and put some right on top, just like that. And we're gonna do it to all of these. Now I love lettuce on top of my tacos and a lot of people do, so that is why we're gonna do it. Okay, it adds a nice little cold, refreshing crunch to these amazing taco cups. So go ahead, place some right on top. You just need like a little pinch of lettuce and that'll be great. Perfect, now that we have our iceberg lettuce on, we're gonna go get some sour cream because of course we need a dollop of Daisy, right? There we go. Perfect. I'm gonna do some right here as well. I just like to try to place it right there on the middle or so. And this looks so good. So we're gonna go ahead and pick one of these up. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this guy. Look at that. Perfect. And if some of that meat comes out, guys, that's okay. That is so okay. All we got to do is just scoop it right back on. There we go. We just scoop a little bit right into there. Okay. There we go. Now, guys, if the bottom breaks, that's totally okay. Keep in mind that it's bound to happen because, you know, we're using wet ingredients in here at times. Look at how good this looks. We're gonna go ahead and try it. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and try this taco cup. Look at how cute it looks. So you can either go right in with it or you can try to take a bite. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a scoop out. Mmm. Favorite things about this is it just brings everything, all the best parts of a taco into one. I hope you guys enjoy.